Hey guys, uh, this is UC. So uh, you wanted to see how to place a conditional order on uh, in Thinkorswim platform. Okay, so let's take it for example, uh, like today, right? In the morning, we were like, uh, we're going to buy uh, Boeing once the price gets closer to 231, right? So let's assume you want to get into 235C when the price goes below let's say 232 right uh, so there are a couple of ways you can do that but the easiest way the most simple way is you just come here and think of some platform like you know you just come to uh, uh, this uh, all products page find out which option you want to buy and then we're going to place a conditional order on it right so you come here you want to buy 235c right click on it and uh, just say buy single right you can start off like this and now to build the condition there's a little settings box right here towards the right side you click on that and it opens up a little window now this is a window where you're going to define your condition so since we don't know what the limit price or what the price will be for an option right so we just leave it at market price we want to buy uh, let's say five contracts of 235 C when the mark price right you have an option bid ask mark uh, so I always do mark price which is sort of the middle of bid and ask so when the mark price drops below right this is a less than sign when the mark price is less than 232 and you press enter twice because you want to make sure that your condition shows up right here wait until the following condition is satisfied which is 232 right so you just click on save so now your condition is saved and your order will not get executed uh, unless or until you uh, uh, the price gets below the mark price gets below 232 right and similarly let's say you were trading trying to buy a breakout of Google right so let's say uh, the way I did today was 270, 2760, right? So I wanted to buy that call option. So what I did was that, hey, as soon as the price of Google, uh, I think about three, uh, market price, buy it at market, when the Google mark price is greater than or equal to 2750, right? And then just click on save and you confirm and send your order which I'm not going to do right now but you get the idea right another thing that you can do is build a condition where you say hey if uh, let me show you so let's say you want to buy and you want to get out quickly as well right so you say I want to buy custom I think that's what it was yeah buy custom with OCO bracket. OCO bracket means with one cancels the other bracket, right? So once your initial order gets executed, I want to blast out two more orders uh, uh, where, you know, the take profits. So I'll, I'll tell you. So you do like this. Hey, I want to buy Google 2760C when the price at market price, when the price is greater than 27 five zero right and once my order gets executed I want to sell the same thing when the price not limit of Google gets above 27 let's say 55 right because that breakout will happen in an instant and if you're managing it manually you can miss that right you know the price can go up to 27.55 and by the time you're trying to place your sell order it can just come down or you know uh, markets move fast so you just say sell my uh, option once the order initial order gets executed um, when the price goes above 27.55 or get me out at the stop price at the market price when Google goes below if the breakout flails right 27 let's say 47 right so now you're giving it a bracket order which means once the 2760 gets executed blast the these two orders out and 
any one of these orders, whichever gets filled first, cancel the other one, right? And you just say confirm and send. So this is how you build these uh, around your key price levels, uh, conditional orders, and uh, that can help you. And I have to go out right now, but I'll do another video where you can actually build a condition uh, saying that, hey, I only want to execute an order once a two minute bar or a five minute bar closes above a certain level, only executed that. So, you know, you're trying to avoid a false breakout. Like, you know, for example, if Google would have broken out at 2750 and you would have gotten in, but let's say if it failed, uh, before the two minute bar closed or the five minute bar closed and you would be in the trade stuck right but again yes you can miss it out you can miss those opportunities as well because what if it breaks out and keeps going up and you know by the time five minute bar or two minute bar is over google is already at 2760 or 2758 so so there's a downside of that as well but you know that's the risk you take so uh i'll do that another video on that uh, later today or tomorrow okay but hopefully you guys like this one okay thank you and have a good rest of your day